with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Welcome back. Well, man, it has certainly been windy ever since yesterday afternoon, and you can really see our weather camera shaking this morning. This is a look out of our West Topeka camera. That cold front, though, is on the move. We still have winds out of the south in Topeka, and for most of us, at least in the eastern half of the area, but we are starting to see our winds shift to the north and west as that cold front passes through. Still seeing some very gusty winds, a wind gust of 40 miles per hour recently in Concordia, 38 in Emporia. Same goes for Junction City, 41 miles per hour gust in Lawrence. I've seen these as high as almost 50 miles per hour this morning and since last evening evening as well. So we're going to continue with those really strong winds today. So I want to show you our future wind gusts starting this at this morning at 7 a.m. Still seeing those winds shifting to the north and west through at least the mid morning and then that cold front will be all the way through all of our winds by this point at, at least by lunchtime should be shifted to the north and west. Still seeing those really gusty winds between 40 45 miles per hour even as high as 50 as we go throughout this evening. So we do have that wind advisory in effect area wide until 6 p.m. tonight. We have our winds finally starting to relax just a little bit through the overnight hours and by relaxing I mean we're still going to be expecting some wind gusts around 30 to 35 miles per hour. That'll be the case throughout the daytime tomorrow as well. But then after that we're finally going to see these winds back off for us just in time for Christmas Day. So here's a look at our temperatures right now with those southerly breezes being very strong through the overnight. That's kept most of our temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. So we're at 57 degrees in Topeka, 56 in Emporia. Same goes for Manhattan, but with that cold front moving through, we're down to 52 degrees in Junction City, 47 in Clay Center and 48 in Concordia in Marysville. Now through the rest of today, temperatures, this is as warm as we're going to get. We're going to keep falling all throughout this afternoon. By the time you head home from work, we should probably be in the upper 20s for our air temperatures and we'll still have those winds, so it's going to feel much colder than that as well. Tonight, dropping all the way back into the teens before barely rebounding into the upper 20s for Thursday. Here's a look at our future wind chills going throughout this afternoon, feeling like we're in the single digits and teens area wide by the time you head home from work. Definitely grab those heavy coats, even though it doesn't feel like you need it yet. Coming up for tomorrow morning, single digits and teens, same thing with those wind chills, and then we'll stay pretty much in that area going throughout the rest of this, the afternoon tomorrow too. By the time Santa makes his arrival, still pretty cold, but we'll be on the upturn then. We'll have temperatures climbing up into the 40s for Christmas Day. Now, there's a look at our satellite and radar as the system is swinging on through this morning. Not out of the question to see some sprinkles, maybe even some flurries later on this afternoon as well as the system continues to spin off to the north and east. So here's a look at our future track by about three o'clock or so. We may be able to see some of those snowflakes, but I think for the most part we should stay dry. If we do get lucky enough to see any of that, I think maybe just a quick dusting is possible, especially if you live north and west of Manhattan, Junction City. Same goes uh, all the way up through Holton probably. So temperatures for Friday warming up into the middle 40s. We should be in the low 50s by Saturday, so I guess at least this is a very brief snap of cold air for us. We'll have another uh, little bit of a cold shot coming up for the first part of next week when finally we may get a little bit better chance for rain coming up by Tuesday and Wednesday. What a shock to the system today. Yes, it's going to be very cold. I just stay inside if you can, I think. What a transition <laughs> we're going to make. My goodness. Mm -hmm.